it's time for a mini boat update. For those of you who don't know, USS Constitution has a fleet of five mini boats, small unmanned sailboats with a GPS tracker that were built by local schools. Our latest mini boat, Warrior, was built by third graders at Hanscom Air Force Base School and has just made landfall. Carl, I know when it made landfall, it's, you know, it's been 50 days at sea. It was launched by the Coast Guard back in July. And when it just made landfall last week, you were pretty excited about this as an experienced sailor and our public historian. Tell us why. Well, because Warrior has made landfall on Sable Island, which is truly one of the unique places on the planet. If you've never heard of it before, Sable Island is this lonely little sandbar out on the edge of the continental shelf about 175 miles south of Nova Scotia. Uh, it's about 26 miles long, but it's less than a mile wide at its widest point. Uh, and because it's right there by itself in the middle of what had been busy shipping routes, uh, Warrior, um, you know, landing there is in good company with about a 350 some odd ships that have wrecked on Sable Island over the centuries. Uh, it's really a crazy place because the shifting sands can easily just swallow up these shipwrecks uh, uh, never to be seen again. So it was exciting that the mini boat landed there. Uh, there's nothing on the island but a few park rangers. The whole place is uh, part of the National Park and some researchers for the Sable Island Institute uh, who live on the island. And the only other thing, there are some grasses and hundreds of wild horses that have been there since the 1800s. So it's a really cool place. Yeah, and I know when I told you that it had landed there, you had a sense of urgency that we really had to go find this boat quickly because <laughs> it could be buried by sand uh, very, very quickly. So <laughs> I, took your, I took your advice, Carl. Uh, I got in touch with the National Park that runs Sable Island. They put me in touch with the Sable Island Institute and a naturalist who works there named Zoe Lucas. And she also lives on the island, and so she knows it very well. She took our GPS coordinates that were coming from the beached boat and took her ATV out and found it. And it was uh, already partially buried on a south um, sand dune on the island and she was able to extricate it drain it out and put it on the back of her ATV and take it back to the uh, to the housing on the island that's awesome that's really cool yeah so our next step usually when a mini boat lands we connect it with a local school to open up the boat that is not an option on uh, <laughs> Sable Island right Carl because the nearest <laughs> civilization <laughs> <laughs> no, the nearest civilization is Halifax, which is 180 miles away. So we're going to hopefully connect the Hanscom students with the naturalist, and they can learn about all the cool nature and unique formations on this island. Um, so we're excited about that. Fantastic. I look forward to seeing that. That'll be really cool.